Okay, today's day one of the Listen to Your Heart in Parenting Challenge. So if you are joining me in the Facebook group, join the community if you're not in there yet. Reactive to relaxed self-care without the guilt. Um, if you are in there already and you are part of this challenge, I will see your comments hopefully popping up and I can um, mention you or we can, um, you know, I can respond to you in real time if you're wanting to um, talk while I'm going live. Let's see what. Okay, it's Valentine's Day. We had a really fun weekend, um, a date night, a hike. The, you know, the kids brought home stuff that they made. This is Tegan's um, card he made. He cut out stuff and he's writing, his five-year-old writing. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so today, the Listen to Your Heart in Parenting Challenge um, you can join anytime. If you're watching later on YouTube, um, this challenge will be in the guide section of the Facebook group. So you can do it anytime um, you come across it. If you uh, want to download the workbook in the description of the video, there should be a workbook link so you can get the workbook that goes with it. It's inspired. I don't think I have my book here. Inspired by Atlas of the Heart um, by Brene Brown. So I will be talking a little bit about that book throughout the challenge. And also we're having some Zoom calls for the for the book, um, book study. So yeah, in the Facebook group, if you're here live, you go to the event section, you can read the description there. You can find the links that you need. Today we're talking about stress. Okay, so we're starting off this talk with stress because um, in parenting, this can often be what clouds our heart from our parenting journey is when we are stressed, right? When we're happy-go-lucky, we're relaxed, parenting is a lot smoother and life in general. So <clears throat> to understand our um, relationship with stress, we need to go back in our history a bit, back in time, and get curious about how was stress handled in your family? This can bring up quite a bit of emotion. So, you know, get a journal, write about it, you know, spend some time with it. Um, what did you learn from your caregivers about handling stress? What were some of the responses in your family to stress. That's where this started. So I wanted to read a quote from Atlas of the Heart that Brene Brown had. Oh, and Tegan's homesick from school. So here he comes. Hi, buddy. I was just showing everybody the card you made me. I need to do some work for a few minutes, then I'll come back down. Okay, her quote is, we are meaning makers and a sense of place is central to meaning making. Where I am, how, what, how did I get here from there? How do I get there from here? So this has actually been a huge part of my life, meaning making. I actually have a master's degree in place-based education. So what that means is our experience, our learning, our perception is directly correlated with our sense of place. Because we have an internal process that's going on, uh, making meaning in our internal world, you have two people with the same stress reacting in two totally different ways. So. In the challenge today, if you are looking at the post, the post will come out daily at noon. I believe that's when I scheduled it. And I will go live every day at 9.30 a.m. So in the post, it's looking at which behaviors in your children cause you stress response. 
And because we make meaning from our history, your partner could have totally different responses to the same behaviors in your children. So understanding that is a really great place to start with your parenting. Hi, buddy. Let's talk about um, when your child has behavior and that causes an emotional trigger in you. Okay. An emotional trigger means you're flashing back to a previous experience in your life. You are no longer in the present moment. So your sense of creativity, empathy, compassion, all the rational thinking stuff kind of goes out the window and you go into the emotional part of your brain. In my coaching, we go through this in more depth if you really are really interested in coaching through some of your triggers and working with the behaviors in your children. Um, it's super interesting stuff. It's helped me reframe the way that I parent. But I just want you to understand that it is not your fault that you are having these stress responses. This is a normal biological response. So if we can come from a place of self-compassion, it makes our parenting so much easier. Hey, bud, can you please stop? I'm trying to make it higher. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. There are four parts of a trigger before we end for today. When you are triggered, you have a biological response. You have sensations in your body. Oftentimes we ignore these. They could be like a tightening in your jaw or um, increased heart rate. Mm -hmm. It could be heat like rising in your body, um, a tight chest, like a heart fluttering. Understanding what happens in your body, your biological response is the first step in understanding your trigger. Number one. The other parts of a trigger, too, you often will have a thought, a belief of some kind. So, like, he's having this behavior right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I could be getting a bit flustered, right? Like, right now I feel like my chest is a little bit tight. I have that flutter in my neck, my throat. And what I could be telling myself about it is that, you know, I don't have this I, under control I or, this book. you know, people are thinking that I'm a bad parent. You know, I could be having these thoughts. That's part of a trigger. And the next part of a trigger is a feeling, a feeling of, you know, sadness or anger, or frustration, um, disappointment. Those feelings are part of a trigger. And the last part of a trigger is that your feeling is going to drive your behavior. So whatever feeling I'm having is going to drive the behavior that I'm going to have with my child. Okay. So there's four parts of a trigger and this is all happening super, super fast. And in stressful situations, it is very hard to slow down this process. So part of this week of listening to your heart is that we're going to slow down this process and really get curious with the parts of our um, stress in our heart and our emotions and really look into where did I develop these in my past and where did they come from? And then like, like Brene Brown says, where am I? How did I get here from there? And how do I get there from here? What kind of parent, are we hoping to be right so how are we going to get there from where i am right now so i'm super excited about the challenge let me see if anybody's commenting i don't see any comments um but if you're watching the replay hashtag replay and and then there are prizes for this challenge so in the description of this video you can join my group you can get the workbook um and we, I will be giving out prizes for people that complete um, all five days. And so on Friday, there's a self-love yoga class that will probably be part of the prize package. Um, if you can't make it live, there's a recording you can have. Um, I have some books. Um, <laughs> 
some coaching. So there will be a prize package, a drawing from all the people that complete this challenge. Yes, buddy. Don't spill my coffee. I'm going to put this up before I go. So she's at school. No, she's not. You weren't feeling well, so you stayed home. And I still have work to do today. So I'm going to do this, and then I'll come play with you. Okay? Give me five minutes. I want to stay in here. You want to stay here and watch me? Okay, I want to say goodbye to everybody. I just wanted to put this on the screen that... um. I want to sit on you. I do have a flash sale on all of my, um, a lot of my programs this week. You'll put in the code LOVE to get the flash price sale. But Ohm in the Home Revolution is my signature parenting program. It includes the yoga app. It includes uh, Reclaim Your Body, Transform Your Mind. And it includes weekly coaching and all these modules on conscious parenting. So if you want to have a conversation about joining that, message me, founding member. I'm talking with people in Messenger, or we can jump on a call and talk about it as well. Um, and it's just a, it's it's your way of going through this process with me and redefining your parenting, listening to your heart and listening to your children's hearts, especially. Um, raising this next generation of kids that really trust themselves. Shh. Why? Are you listening to your heart? Oh my gosh. How beautiful. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. I'm excited um, for this challenge.